Good morning, children. Today we are going to discuss addition. Addition with two digit numbers. Again, two digit in three columns we are going to add. Now, the very first question we are going to hear 24 plus 22. Now, we are going to add here without carry. In my next video, I will give you how we should carry and add. Now the question is 24 plus 22. Now in the one house, the digit is 4 and 2. In the previous video, I have told you the properties of addition. Either you add 2 plus 4 or 4 plus 2, the answer will remain the same. So we can, which is easier for you, which is convenient for you, you do the same. Either after 2, you forward count up to 4. Or from 4 you count more 2. So we are going to count from down. So now after 2 you have to count 4. That is 3, 4, 5 and 6. That means we are going to write here 6. Now in 10's house 2 plus 2. That means after 2 you add more 2. That means 3 and 4. So we are going to write here 4. So, after adding 24 and 22, the answer we are getting, that is 46. Let us go to the next question. See, in this question, we can see 36 plus 3. That means, in 10's house, one column places vacant. That means, no digit is there. So, no problem. So, we are going to add first 1's house. Always, you will add the 1's house first. Now, from 3... Again I am telling, you may add from down or you may add from top. No problem is there, which is easier you feel. After 3 you may count 6 or after 6 you may count 3. Generally what we do, the bigger number we take out and then we count the lesser number. That means from 6 we can count 3, 7, 8 and 9. So in the uh, uh, properties of addition, we have learnt already this topic that whether you are Changing the order of the numbers, the sum remains the same. Now, 6 plus 3 is 9. Now, here in 10 house, nothing is there. That means, this 3 will come down without adding anything. The answer will become 39. No need to put this arrow. Only I made you explain, so I put the arrow here. That means, 36 plus 3, the answer is 39. Now let us go to the next question. That is 58 plus 20. Now what we have learned in the properties of addition whenever we are adding any number with 0 the answer or the sum is the digit itself. So here in the 1 column we are getting 8 plus 0. That means 0 means nothing. So 8 plus 0 the answer will be the digit itself. So 8 will be the answer. After adding 8 plus 0, we are getting 8 as answer. Now we will shift to 10 house. So what is there? 5 plus 2. So after 5, you count more 2. That is 6, 7. So what we are going to write here? 7. That means when we are adding 1 house, we are getting 8. When we are adding 10 house, we are getting 7. Now, so the answer is 78. 58 plus 20 is 78. Let us go to the next question. Now, here see I have written 3 numbers. 3 numbers are written. First one is 51, then 40, then 22. Now, you may add this to first and after that this one. After adding this one, you will add this or from top, you may add these two numbers and you may add after that 2. Okay, so let us start from this. After 2, you count 4, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we are getting here 6. Now here already plus 1. That means 6 plus 1 is 7. You can directly also 
that 2, then 4, 3, 4, 5, 6. And after that, carry for one more you carry, which count? That means after 6 you count more 1, that is 7. So the answer will be 7. Now it ends out. 2 plus 1 plus 5. First you add 2 and 1. That means 2 plus 1 is 3. So we are getting here 3. We are getting here 3. After 3 you have to add 5. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Always while addition do forward counting. Or don't take out your fingers and add. Try to count forward to add. So after 3 you are counting 5. It will be 8. 5 plus 3 is 8. So answer is what? 87. So this is the process of adding 3 numbers of 2 digits. We are adding 2 digit numbers only without carry. But the numbers are 3. Let us try one more question. We will write a CEO. Then I am writing a 20. Then 15. Then 33. Now, we are going to add these two numbers first. That means 3 plus 5 or 5 plus 3. Anyone you can do. We are going to add first one small. So 3 plus 5 is 6. After 5 you count 3. Or after 3 you count 5. Both are correct. So we are going to count after 5, 6, 7, 8. That means after adding these two numbers we are getting 8 as the sum. With 8, we are going to add 0. So we know that after adding 0 with any number, the answer remains the same, the digit itself. So 8 plus 0 is 8. We will write here 8. Now, after this, we are going to tens out. Now, 3 plus 1. So after 3, we count 1 more. That means 3 and 1 more is 4. So after 4, we will count what? 2. After 4, 5 and 6. So, we are going to write here 6. So, whenever you are adding 2 digit numbers, first remember the properties of addition what I taught you and then apply those properties here. It will be very easier. And don't count by taking out your finger. You try to count forward counting. You, you all of you know to, to do the forward counting. Let us do another one. Suppose 15 plus 22 plus 10. Now, 0 plus 2 is 2. We know after adding with 0, the digit itself will be the answer. So, first two digits will be 2 plus 0 is 2. And plus 5, that means after 2 you have to count 5. 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. That means we are going to write 7 here. After 2 plus 1 that is 3. 3 plus 1 it is 4. So we are going to write here 4. So the answer is 47. I hope you have understood children. Thank you.